Hi, I'm Desiree Wardsworth, the chair of the dance department at Louisiana Academy of Performing Arts. Welcome again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about dress code. We're going to start with just the essentials. We know that for a dress code for our ballet classes is a black leotard. It needs to have sleeves, pink tights, a ballet skirt, and your pink shoes, ballet slippers. For those ballet slippers parents, we're going to want to tie those drawstrings. Those are the little bit of strings at the uh, very base of the foot there. Tie them tight and then snip them off so they don't have any excess. So they would trip on it or we don't want to stuff those in because they're going to get hurt. Um, and then also for our point classes, you would have your point shoes and your point instructor will teach you how to tie those shoes and also how to care for them in between classes. I'm going to go down the line and introduce our other dance teachers and they're going to tell you a little bit about each dance style. Uh, Molly, can you talk to us a little bit about what they should be wearing for hip hop and jazz? Yeah, so um, hip hop and jazz, we have our hip hop jazz combo sneakers. Um, you can get them at dance stores. And if you just ask for the hip hop jazz sneaker, they should be able to provide them. They're in black. Um, and those are really good. Wear socks with those, please. Um, for blisters and smell, etc. cetera. Um, we also wear black pants and a black top. Make sure that um, the pants are pants and they're not shorts. We wanna keep our legs nice and covered. Um, if you are a little bit cold, you can bring a jacket, but make sure you remove it once we get a little bit warmer um, and our hair needs to be off our face and all the good essentials, but black, black and those black sneaker tennis shoes. Um, and if you have trouble, if they're the right ones, um, when you come to class, your students should see other students with those shoes on. You can snap a picture. Awesome. Yeah. Kaylin, can you talk to the people that are on point a little bit about their point shoes and just a little bit of care about that point shoe? Yeah, so point shoes um, <laughs> are a lot of fun. Um, so your ribbons, whenever you store your shoes, make sure that you store your ribbons in a flat, like in any way that you can that would be flat, maybe wrapped around the shoe um, because you really don't want to wrinkle your ribbons. Not only is it a bad look, but um, you know, you, you kind of, you, you age them when you don't take care of them and they ravel and you know, and they're there to support you. So you want to, you know, take care of them so that they can take care of you. And then also with your point shoes, it's um, after, after your classes, it's actually not good for you to put them directly in your bag. But if you want to like hold them until you get home and allow them to dry, because those shoes are essentially paper mache shoes, most of them. And um, the sweat and the heat from your foot breaks the shoe down a lot quicker. So the quicker it can dry, the longer lasting your shoes will be. Also, dryer sheets, um, baby powder, um, um, with the baking soda mm -hmm. is good to put in your shoes too to help with the smell. Um, and just try to keep them as clean as you possibly can. Awesome tips, thank you so much. And Savannah, can you talk to them about what they're supposed to wear for contemporary and modern dance as well as musical theater? Yes, um, for contemporary and musical theater, they can wear um, a black shirt or a black leotard and black leggings or black sweatpants. Um, for shoes, um, lyrical, you can go barefoot if you'd like, or you can get turning pads. You can get them on Amazon, Capizio, um, Discount Dance. Um, any of those websites, just look at turning shoes, and they're just little toe pads. Um, but barefoot is fine, too, or jazz shoes, just the classic jazz um, at all of the same places, discount dance. Um, for musical theater, we want to have tan or black jazz shoes, and the dress code is the same. You can wear a shirt or a leotard with black leggings or black sweatpants. Great. So that's a little bit about the dress code. Remember that all of your tops and leotards should have a sleeve and a back that is no lower than your shoulder blade. Um, so that you're really looking in uniform here at LAPA. We're going to talk a little bit about hairdo. We know that for all of our classes, we want the hair away from the face. We don't want any hair in the face. It affects you as you're moving and turning. And we don't want things in your eyes. We want to make sure, sure you can focus and really do your best while you're here taking class. So we know 
everybody has different hair length, hair textures, it's all that. So you can see all four of us have our hair back today. And we've done a various uh, different hairstyles. And we're gonna talk to you a little bit about what is acceptable and what you can do if you're in a hurry. Um, I'm gonna start with myself and then we'll just go down the line. We'll start with Savannah and then Kaylin and come back to Molly. Um, today I parted my hair sort of down the middle on a diagonal and I did two twists and then I just pinned them up in the back. Um, and that was really easy. So let's say I've been at school all day and I have gotten two twists or two braids in my hair and I need to get it up for a ballet class. I can just take those uh, twists and pin them up in the back. It was really easy. I did apply gel because I don't want any frizzies. I want it to lay flat and not be a nuisance while I'm moving. Okay, and Savannah, you want to talk to us about your bun today? Yes, um, I did a quick bun today. I actually have no barrettes, no um, bobby pins. Today I just did, I parted my hair. Actually, it was a natural part, and hairspray is always your best friend. Put a lot of hairspray and did a ponytail. Then I just twisted it and um, wrapped it around my ponytail and did another hair tie, and it's been secure. So hairspray is definitely your best friend two hair ties, and you just want to make sure it's tight enough that you're not going to have to fix it again and again during class. Awesome. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. um, um, but my favorite placement for my bun is actually right here. I just go from the corners of my ears, and I point upward, and that's where I like to put my bun. It just makes my face, because I have a small head, <laughs> it makes my face look longer, and that line from the top of my bun down through my neck just looks really nice. You know, in your profile, like I, when you mm -hmm. go to class, you should feel like you look beautiful. good. You should yeah. feel beautiful. Yes. And it really does translate in the work that you do. So I feel like this style looks best on me. It really elongates, you know, all of this. And I don't have bobby pins either, but know your hair and know mm -hmm. what pins you may or may not need. Exactly. Molly, you want to share? Yeah. So my hair today is actually just two uh, French braids, and then you just pin them up in the back kind of haphazardly, just get them in there. Um, but also you can do a tight ponytail with gel and hairspray, um, a French braid. A lot of the hairstyles that kids go to school with, you can quickly just put up into an easy bun like Savannah has or um, spend a little bit more time and putting up. I think it just, as long as it's out of the face, um, is what we want. And uh, yeah, as long as they feel good, I think it also translates into their dance. But then students, if your parents spend time putting your hair up, please don't come to class and then take it right back out again. Because I get that a lot. Yes. Um, if your hair is up, don't touch your hair. Let it be. Let it live in the bun or the ponytail that it's in. And just go on with your class. I don't want you worrying about your hair. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, if you have questions about how to do these different hairstyles, please feel free to ask one of us after class. I'm sure Ms. Savannah, Ms. Kaylin, and Ms. Molly will be happy to share with you some tips. As we get closer to recital, what's a must for hair? Hair gel. Pens. Hair gel. Pens. 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 Hairspray. <laughs> all those things. We want you to use it. We'll probably do another one of these videos showing you how to do that so that it stays. Um, it just looks really good on the stage, and you're going to feel really beautiful as you're moving in class and on stage. We thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again.